Okay, this video, or the purpose of this video, is to provide an example of uh, a system and in the process describe some signals that would go along with that system. Um, the real reason for doing this is to help you get a better feeling for what we typically mean when we talk about inputs and outputs and um, when we talk about a system with the idea that quite often uh, we're treating a very complex thing as sort of a black box. So this example is uh, we're going to use uh, heating and air conditioning sort of thing or sort of example or you might think of this as maybe like an oven or something like that. So let's assume that we have a room or a box or an oven or something like this and we want to control the temperature inside this room or this oven or this box. Oh, draw some nice. There we go. Okay, so we have this room or oven or box and we want to control the temperature inside of it. So let's suppose that we have over here a, a heat pump, okay? And the idea is that this heat pump can either take um, heat out of the surrounding air or uh, take heat to the surrounding air. And this heat pump has a pipe that comes out of the top and into the room and a pipe that comes out the bottom or comes out of the room back into the bottom. Okay, and so air of a either heated or cooled air flows out of the heat pump into the room and back into the room into the heat pump. And this heat pump, demonstrating here our total lack of artistic ability, has a knob on it or a dial that we can set to um, supply more or less heat. Okay, so so far we've got the room and we've got the heat pump. Let's suppose that we also have over here on this wall a little thermostat or a thermometer. And the idea is that this thermometer actually measures the temperature. Let's suppose it's an electric thermometer because that'll be handy later on. So it gives us a measurement of temperature and that measurement of temperature is actually just a voltage across two wires and that voltage varies uh, with the temperature. So this is the example or this would be an example of a system. Um, we have an input And in this case, the input is the setting on this dial. We have an output. And in this case, the output is the voltage of our temperature sensor. And again, we'll assume that voltage is proportional to temperature. Now, you'll notice that a lot of complex stuff happens inside this room. We have air coming out of the heat. Uh, the, the outlet of the heat uh, pump, we've got air going back in. We may have objects in the room that uh, might be hot or cold, and so uh, they'll affect what happens in the room. So we've got all of this, all of this complicated stuff but we're essentially going to not worry about that in terms of details and we're going to talk about this system in terms of uh, in the following way. So we're going to have a block diagram. This represents the system and going into the system we have our input and coming out of the system we have our output. 
Okay. And again, the input. Um, is this dial. The output is this voltage. Now clearly what goes on in here inside the system may be very complicated. It may actually be very hard to uh, model and uh, you may have to uh, do all sorts of uh, thermodynamics and heat transfer and stuff like that. But uh, conceptually at least we can think of this as a system. We have an input which is the the temperature or the setting on the heat pump and we have an output which is proportional to the temperature and so there's some things we could do with this uh, one of the things that you see done quite often is we want to take the output and use it to somehow control the input because maybe this is an oven and these little guys in here we want them to get heated up to 500 degrees or something like that or maybe this is a refrigerator and we don't want this block of ice to melt, whatever it is. The idea is that we want the value that we're reading on our thermometer to affect the setting on the heat pump. Okay, so to do that, wow, I sort of boxed myself into a corner here. We'll see if we can move the system up a little bit. Oh, it's gone. Well, I'll have to redraw it. So, we have a system, and we build what we call a feedback loop into that system. So this thing here is called a controller. It takes the output, and it does something with the output to tell us how we should change the input. Okay, so in this case again, the output is the temperature sensor, the input is the uh, setting on the heat pump, and our controller is going to tell us how to, based on a given output, how to set the temperature on the heat pump so that the temperature we want out here is actually what we get. Um, again, this is the whole room with all the heat pump and all that stuff. So. Hopefully this was instructive. Again, the idea here is to give you some uh, feeling for the sorts of things that you typically see as inputs and the sorts of things that you typically see as outputs in a system.